The Good Dinosaur. Imagine living in a world with dinosaurs. I saw that a few months ago. Pretty good movie. What's your favorite Pixar movie? Hey guys, Ray Pahar from Get Crafty Crafty, and today we're going to be getting a little messy. Using a few household ingredients, we're going to be combining a bunch of things together to create these really cool crack open fossils. Let's go ahead and get started with today's project. The items that you'll need for today's project include a large mixing bowl, one cup of salt, one cup of coffee grounds, one cup of flour, one cup of play sand or regular sand, half a cup to one cup of water, some dinosaur or some fossil toys. I was looking originally for dinosaur toys, but I found these guys at a craft store. I'll have links to these in the description below. In your large mixing bowl, you're going to combine your coffee grounds, your salt, your sand, and your flour. Using your hands, you're going to mix everything together until all the clumps have been broken down. Once everything has been mixed together, you're going to carefully take your water and you're going to pour it in slowly and mix it into your sand and coffee flour salt mixture. You want to make sure that everything is mixed in and depending on how wet your sand and your coffee grounds are, you're going to use either half of your water or all of your water. You want to add enough water to your mixture so that all the dry ingredients can be soaked. Remember, the more water that you add to this mixture, the longer it's going to take to actually dry. To create your fossil, you're going to take enough of your mixture so that you could completely cover your dinosaur fossil or your dinosaur toy, or you could have a little bit of it exposed so that you could actually see what's on the inside of your fossil. I kind of like the completely covered part with just a little bit open so that when you crack it you could actually see what's on the inside of your fossil. As an alternative to using plastic dinosaur toys, you could use either some plastic gems or in this case some sea glass to create a really cool geode like fossil. Same kind of concept, all you have to do is cover up your sea glass or your gems or have them stick out a little bit so that you could actually crack them open to see what's on the inside of your fossil. To ensure that your fossils harden properly, you want to make sure that everything has been completely pushed in and there are no cracks on your fossil. If you wait too long to actually do this, it's going to dry up. All you have to do is just take some water and then just uh, compact your fossil so that it's smoothened out and none of the parts on the outside will fall apart when it's drying. Once you've put your fossils together and everything has been pushed in, you want to let these sit under the sun or by a windowsill for about two to three days. Once everything's been dried, you'll actually be able to crack open your fossils. After your fossils have completely dried, a cool way to actually display them before you crack them is you could either stick them into a sandbox or into some coffee grounds to make it look like that they're actually just sitting in the ground to, waiting to be found and opened. To break open your fossils, you can use a small hammer to actually crack them open. For this part of the project, you want to make sure you have the proper eye care so that nothing gets into your eye when you crack open your fossils. And if you need the help or supervision from an adult, make sure you ask for it. Using your hammer, you want to carefully crack it open to carefully reveal what's inside of your fossil. The more that you wait for your fossil to actually dry, the harder it's going to be to actually open it up. Depending on where you live, this project can take two to three days or even more to completely dry. I live in LA and it was about 80 degrees this week and as you guys can see when I tried to crack open the fossils, the inside was still a little wet and it actually made it a little easier to crack them open. If you want a harder fossil to actually crack open, you want to probably wait a few extra days before you try to open up your fossil. These were a really fun project to make and even though you could make them as a little fossil to crack open, I actually prefer the ones that are a little exposed just so that you could actually just have them lying around as a cool little uh, table piece. If you guys are interested in making more cool geode rock projects, you guys can check out my eggshell geode project, or if you're really interested in checking out an OG Get Crafty Crafty video, check out my DIY plaster dragon egg. If you guys make this project, make sure you share it with me either on my Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter using the Get Crafty Crafty hashtag. Other than that, I'll see you guys next time. Take care and stay crafty.